people, I'm Sean from the Net Ninja, and this is HTML Basics Lesson 14 IDs and Classes. So, what are IDs and Classes? Well, they're quite similar, but they've got a very distinct difference, and that is that an ID is a unique identifier. It's used once in the whole page to describe one section of content. For example, the header of that page, or maybe the about section at the bottom of that uh, page. The important thing is that we use an ID once on a page to kind of represent, represent one area of that page. A class, on the other hand, is slightly different in that it's an identifier of an element which can be used multiple times on one page. So say, for example, we have a page with a load of comments at the bottom. Now, an element which wraps all of these comments or wraps each one of these comments may have a class of comment. So it gives it that identifier. It gives each comment an identifier of comments, but because it's a class, it can be used multiple times if there's five comments or six or seven or 30 comments. Okay, so when there's just one thing of an element, like a header, then we'd use an ID maybe. If we're going to use the element over and over again in that page, then we'd use a class. So that's the main difference. Now, they can both be used with JavaScript and CSS. We can use them in the CSS as hooks. So we can say, if we had a CSS document, we could say, okay, go into the HTML file and find all the elements with a class of comments and we're going to style them in the CSS this way, so they all look the same. If it's an ID, we can still use that in the CSS. The CSS file will say, okay, find the section of the document with an ID of header, and we're going to position this in a certain way on the web page. So they can be, uh, both be used with CSS, and likewise, both be used with JavaScript. And we're going to cover a little bit of JavaScript and CSS in this course. However, I will be doing full courses on uh, CSS basics and JavaScript basics later on. So we're going to dive into the code now, and we're going to try practicing with these IDs and classes. All right, here I am back in the code. And if you remember last time, we added all these div elements, which remember, uh, divide the page up into specific divisions or specific kind of sections of the website. So we've got some here above the header um, with the banner, uh, sorry, not the header, uh, the navigation. And then we've got a div tag enclosing the header here and a div over the types of fish we sell and so forth down the page. So we're going to start giving these some IDs and classes. So the first one, which is the, the top here, um, which contains the banner and the welcome text, I'd say that's a pretty good contender for a header of the web page. So we're going to give that an ID because there's only one header on this page of header. And that's how we write it. It's just an attribute called ID. And then remember, attributes are the attribute name equals the double quotes and then the value of the attribute. So we're saying the value here is header. So we're giving this section of the content, this element here, the div tag, an ID of header. All right, likewise, we're going to give the navigation area an ID of navigation. And then we'll move down to this bit here, types of fish we sell. And I'll say ID, because there's only one of these, again, one of these sections, uh, types of fish. Now, I've used multiple words for this ID, which is fine. Uh, different developers have different ways of attacking this. I like to put a hyphen between each word. A lot of developers like to do something called camel case, which is where you write the first word and then you do a capital word, uh, capital letter for the beginning of every subsequent word. So that would be types, capital O for of, and then capital F for fish. So it'd be like that. That would be camel case. Personally, I prefer the hyphenated rule uh, purely because I think it's more readable. So I can look at this and I can tell it says types of fish easier than a camel case types of fish would. However, it doesn't make a difference, entirely your choice. So we've done that, then the next part is this. So I'm gonna give that an ID. There's only one about us section on the page and I'm gonna say about us for the ID of that. And then the contact us methods here, I'm gonna give that an ID as well. And I'm going to call that contact us. So that's pretty much it for the IDs. Now, on this page, there's not really anything I'd give a class. At a pinch, I'd give these contact methods a class. Uh, each different contact method, phone, email, 
or carry pigeon they've each got a h3 and a p tag now if i wanted to and i've done this already um, i've added div tags around each different contact method um, at a pinch i would probably add a class to these so the way we do this is say class for the attribute and then give it a class name and i'll call this a contact method so there's multiple uh, classes, there's multiple contact methods. So we can remember a class can be used more than once on a page. So we're gonna give each enclosing div, uh, div tag a class of contact method. And I've just copied and pasted that on each div. So, I mean, that's all there is to it. And uh, this isn't gonna have any kind of visual impact yet. Uh, this is, like I say, just a way of um, kind of describing the content. Uh, so it's good for semantic reasons and it's a way that we can hook into the HTML document via CSS and JavaScript and we can use these classes and IDs to give certain styles or JavaScript scripts um, to each element and we'll go over quickly JavaScript and CSS probably in the next video uh, a little bit. So I'm going to give one more example of how we use classes to make it a little bit more clear. And to do that, I've made a new page here called classes.html on the left. So I'm going to open this up. And all this is, is like a comments page. So if someone wanted to uh, give me a comment about how smelly my fish are, they can do that here. So I've got multiple comments on this page. And you can see here, we've got a title, p tag, and then we've got a surrounding div tag that encloses all the comments. And then around each comment, we've got another div tag as well. So for the surrounding comment here, uh, the surrounding div tag, there's only one of these that surrounds the whole um, section of comments. So we can give this an ID. We can say the ID of this would be comments. Okay, because there's only one section that encloses all the comments. And inside we have multiple comments. So we can give one of these, each one of these div um, tags a class because there's multiple of them. And we'll call it single hyphen comment and we can copy and paste that onto each div tag and there we go we've got our ID and our classes so that's all there is to it um, in the next lesson I'm going to go into how we can use the classes and IDs in CSS and subsequently after that we're going to go into how we can use them in the JavaScript as well so if you have any questions, remember, just comment below, I'll answer them. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next lesson.